Hello, hello. I'm Bridget from bridgetsastrology.com.au and welcome to my week ahead for the 3rd of June through to the 9th of June 2024. Okay, so um, massive week this week with the new moon in Gemini, but everything's in, moving into Gemini now. So, so much headspace activity. And as I'm recording right now, we're just off the Mercury Uranus in Taurus conjunction and the weather is wild so definitely seeing those uh, as above so below aspects playing out on earth right now <laughs> let me share my screen all right so oh this is set for sunday let me just go back a week and change that to a day Okay, so uh, we wake up on Monday morning and we have the moon still in Aries, <laughs> my dog, still in Aries. Uh, the moon actually changes to Taurus at around 4 p.m. on Monday afternoon. So uh, as you can see here, we wake up in the morning, the moon is straight into a conjunction with Mars in Aries. So we might have some impatience as played out by my lovely Dougal. Um, but it, or it could be really assertive action because we want to get things done. All right, this this Jupiter trine Pluto, uh, we're coming up to Venus and the Sun are at the same degree as well. So the, the, as I said earlier, there's a lot of um, mental activity happening. We could be having brilliant ideas. We could be having stuff come up out of the blue, or uh, maybe we've come to terms with some things, all right? We just had that, like I said, the Mercury conjunct Uranus in Taurus. We could have had some sort of mental change in our comfort levels, allowing us to maybe have those stretch goals, move things a little bit further, and that would be the, the release of those things that held us back, okay? So... Uh, the morning, we may need to call on that inner determination and our past experience. So there is also uh, a sextile between or growing between um, the sun and the, the nodes and also obviously Venus because she's hanging out there too. Um, and uh, Neptune and Mercury are also in a sextile causing a little bit of confusion. Like I said, lots of mental activity. We may have had a change of thoughts, allowing us to move things in a new direction, but we might not have all of the details we need right now. So we might not be extremely confident, but don't let yourself get ruffled. All right. It's one of those moments where we need to go within to find our inner calm, because if we are frazzled, we are, we are pretty much useless to those that actually look to us for leadership or guidance, all right? So, and in doing that, you never know who's watching you uh, achieve uh, quiet greatness or, you know, to be able to take a hold of that, whatever the thoughts are doing and just still, like I said, find that inner calm, all right? It's definitely about you being assertive in your action. Now, like I was saying, the 4 p.m. mark, might be where we just sort of down regulate a bit maybe we ground that fiery energy to rush ahead has calmed down a little bit um now also we also have mercury moving into gemini on the monday at 5 55 pm so for most of the day with the moon at 29 degrees of taurus it's a great time for us to have a look back at the last two or three weeks since Mercury went into um, Taurus, which was on the 16th of March. So it's only just been uh, just over two weeks at this point. So, you know, he's very grounded, logical, um, you know, determined to get the finances right, to get the value out of things. So for this minute, like for before, um, before, that six o'clock mark jupiter venus and the sun are being ruled by a logical mercury okay so after that point mercury is just all out or you know he's in his rulership he's got all the ideas and he's just amplifying all of that gemini activity already taking place all right so 
Uh, so definitely uh, another one, sorry, for Monday is a massive Monday. Jupiter is trying Pluto exactly on, on at 9 a.m. So these two guys just want us to be at, at our best. Jupiter and Gem Gemini is like uh, be, um, be a professor of your thoughts. You know, have that awareness and knowledge, you know, with the thoughts that are you know, bouncing around in your head at this point. And also that trine to Pluto. You know, Pluto is, uh, he's a very wise, yes, destructive, yes, transformative. But, you know, in those quiet moments, he offers great riches. And in this case, it's to the mind. All right. So, so make sure that you give yourself the credit that you deserve and find that calm place within. It's all up to you. All right. Let's move forward to Tuesday. All right, so Tuesday morning, Taurus moon. Um, we've just had that fresh Jupiter Pluto action happening. Uh, the Venus uh, Sun at the same degree uh, of that beautiful trine to the south node. Venus is ruling in that south node. Maybe there are some conversations that need to be had with people or partners in order to. Maybe, uh, you know, if there is any residual um, lack of belief to let that thing go, you know, again, we just really want to focus on our thoughts. But the South Node, talk with people in relationships about what needs to be released. All right. So now the morning offers some downtime where we can get comfortable and sit with our thoughts. Uh, as you can see here, the moon is not touching anything for a while. So he's just floating along, being a Taurus moon. Being a Taurus moon, being ruled by Venus in Gemini conjunct the sun, however. So again, maybe we can get comfortable with those thoughts that we're, we're coming up with. All right, put together some sort of offering. Take time to consolidate what you do. Uh, and like I said for yesterday afternoon, Monday afternoon, give yourself the credit. Because no one else is going to do it for you. And, you know... You can have an adoring crowd or you can have loving family telling you how awesome you are. If you don't believe it yourself, then you're going to have that resistance to um, share your gifts. All right. You, the world needs what you have to offer. Uh, I think Leonie Dawson talks about, you know, you can be, you can make the best cookies in the world, but if you leave them in a brown paper bag and don't let people share them, taste them, or know that you even make these amazing cookies, then you're not sharing your gifts with the world. So open the brown bag, let everybody smell how good those cookies are and have them ask you, oh, okay, I didn't realize you do that. So again, we're, we're starting to um, we're starting to talk up about our offers and ourselves and our zones of genius, okay? Because lots and lots of thoughts. Okay, let's move forward to Wednesday. All right, Wednesday morning, we wake up with the moon conjunct Uranus, all right? So um, now the moon goes into Gemini at 6.37 p.m. So we wake up and we're already being shook in a little way, all right? So there are lots of changing changes taking place and, you know, you need to be open to receive them. We've just had that Mercury Uranus, like I said, that's today for me, which is Friday, um, we're coming up to that moon Uranus. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable. You are being mentally challenged. Or if you're not being mentally challenged, it's about the amount of information that is in your head, right? Mars now, he had that uh, Chiron Hygieia moment um, on Monday just past. And right now he he's picked himself up, he's dusted himself off, and he's back on his trek. It's only for a couple of days because on Sunday he moves into Taurus, where he's just going to be just like Mercury when Mercury came out of Aries, got to sit on the lounge for a little bit. Mars is going to do the same thing. All right. So get as much done as you can right now. But remember, we need to continually come back to center and just pay attention to what our thoughts are doing. All right. So, you know, our antennas being Mercury and Uranus are highly charged and they are emitting what we want to the universe. So make sure that you have released those negative things that held you back. Um, 
Yes. So now the the Venus Kazemi is actually at 2.30 a.m. All right. So Venus exactly conjunct the sun is beautiful. All right. Uh, it's one of those, uh, the star points. If you've ever, if you want to go and have a look at the Venus star point, uh, every eight years, she makes that beautiful pentagram in the sky. Uh, there's so much information on it out there. I'm not going to get into it now. Although to say that, you know, there is love in the air about the people we're communicating. We're feeling good and confident about our thoughts. We might be wanting to be very social and get out there and have a good chat. Um, you know, um, now it's it, it has been sextile to the North Node. So we can be quite independent when we when and confident. You know, that Aries, like I said, Mars has picked himself up and, and he's off. He's ruling that North Node. So in a way, you know, the positive things that we're thinking are helping us get further down the path, down that North Node releasing those weights and baggage that have held us back all right and all the while we've still got that jupiter pluto action happening and these two guys are like for it yes there's always going to be stuff coming up there's always going to be challenges to your comfort and security just like this moon conjunct uranus in taurus you know there are always going to be those moments in life now another beautiful thing that i can see is just a reminder you know, we're going to have the Sun and Venus come up to square Saturn in Pisces in the coming days. I think it's Saturday. Um, and, you know, Saturn in Pisces is, is going through that subconscious landscape, landscape that, that inner thought realm, you know, and he's asking you to be disciplined and determined to make these dreams, Pisces, a reality. You know, so all of these things that we're thinking these could be things that um, earlier I was saying when Jupiter went through Pisces in 2020, they could have been the what if dreams that we started. Now now Saturn is making us do the work. So whether it's doing the work uh, like Nicole LaPera or those psychological um, traits that we're trying to release, or whether it is just like going on a holiday to Japan that you first, first thought of back in 2020. It's the determination to make the dream a reality, right? So this is adding to the flavor of, you know, the Jupiter, Mercury, Sun, Venus moment that's happening over there in Gemini, because it's also helping us ground, right? So by the time that square comes, Saturn could be like, oh, stop floating away with your balloon you know come back down is it practical is it reality or realistic um um you know can you see any logical ways or steps that need to be taken for you to get there or are you just you know dreaming a dream all right so that's that is for wednesday so yes definitely try to contain the passion that we are feeling all right thursday now, Thursday, um, but look at that big, chunky Gemini. So many thoughts. <laughs> Conjunction. <laughs> stellium. That's the word I was looking for, stellium. All right. So the now the Gemini moon, Gemini new moon is not until 10.35 p.m. Obviously, this is Australia. I'm in Tasmania, so adjust accordingly to where you are in the world, because if you are here, thank you very much. I'm getting international people now. I'm very excited. All right. So how are you getting on with all of this energy? Remember, we want to ground it. OK, so um, now in the words I wrote, uh, calm, beep, down, because this new moon is all about setting intentions around how you can get started with something new. Hence, the find a realistic and practical way to make these lofty dreams a reality okay bring the vibe down and not in a bummer way but just again practical reality all right saturn uh is offering you his assistance now another one that i have was i've been tracking for the longest time is this chiron hydrea all right so mars went across all of this but now these two guys Kygea are together at 22 degrees 27 and 28 they are actually exactly conjunct at 8 a.m so in aries it's all about setting realistic mental and physical boundaries around you and what you already know that rattles you this is about you as an individual and how you 
move forward in life under your own steam. All right. So set the boundaries that have that are needed because of the Chiron uh, effect where you know things have previously hurt or wounded you in the past. All right. So this is about being a responsible adult and going, hmm, not going back there again. This is a mental and physical boundary that I am putting up now. And like I said, Mars is older and wiser. Yes, he's still in Aries, which is the young warrior, but he's had a trial and a half since the beginning of May <laughs> when he moved into Aries. So, um, you know, he, he's got the battle wounds. He knows where to avoid now. And it's the same for you. All of these beautiful future potentials and ideas that you have that you have right now need to come with your own trigger warning. See red flags flying before you actually go over the rise and into battle. All right. Whether it's, you know, whatever your modality is, whatever tools you have in your toolbox, get them out and start to utilize them. All right. Let's move forward to Friday. Okay, so Friday we um, have first thing in the morning we've got that sun in sorry moon in Gemini sextile that Chiron Hygieia the Hygieia. All right, so there could be some beautiful realizations that come up today around around what you really need to function um, and the awareness to know what needs to take place or be amended to get you there. All right, so that new moon wasn't until. 10 35 p.m so this is just you know this is a great time you know um i believe you've got eight hours generally either side to do your new moon intentions so you know maybe you can get up in the morning and harness this beautiful sextile understanding and um you know write your intentions in a practical way which implements strategies that keep you away from those things that have previously brought you down uh in a in a harmful way okay so uh own your worth and a little bit of self-love every single day goes a long way okay be the best that you can be okay all right let's go forward to saturday all right so now the moon moved into cancer at 10 40 p.m on friday night so now we get into the morning and it's all about cancer. So that is family, ancestry, um, you know, uh, maternal lineage, home, um, you know, as far as, uh, as far as, as far as um, family, uh, family stuff goes, maybe you will see patterns starting to emerge. Okay. Because I mean, that's the basis of personal development and, and leveling up um, by the work I do is having a look at your chart and your early childhood experience and then breaking away from those things that have held us back earlier. And it could just be generational family trauma or, you know, dysfunctional family patterns from an early experience. But you get to change those things just by knowing they exist. So this could be one of those days where you see some patterns and you know where the blocks are coming from. All right, so forgive those that need it and wrap yourself in some love and know that the universe supports you. All right, so another one for today is the Venus square Saturn at 6 p.m. So this could be a, a maturity, an absolute maturity, even though there's tension because it's a square. Um, Saturn could be bringing Venus down to reality so you might not spend so frivolously. Or you may need to change some sort of social outing that you have. It is Saturday. Um, you may need to change some sort of social outing because of a restriction. I don't know. Uh, maybe you have a commitment uh, elsewhere. Anyway, Saturn's going to hold you accountable. So, um, so and, and, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. So, all right, just... Uh, so, yeah, just one second. And hey, just a little break there. <laughs> All right. So let's move forward to Sunday morning. All right. Now, um, today we have that moon in 
Cancer, trine, Saturn. So we definitely could have some sensitive topics. Maybe, you know, maybe we are able to communicate with family members about things that have felt restrictive to us or maybe some sort of, I mean, it's a, it is a trine. We could definitely get a lot of, um, a lot of feelings out. Um, maybe we, you know, work on our home environment somehow. But again, it's a day where we are allowing the feelings to flow. There might be some sensitive topics that need to be addressed, hence the have a chat with your family members. Be the bigger person and speak to others as you wish you were spoken to. All right, because we also at the same time have Venus squaring that Saturn. All right, so the moon is adding the feeling. Venus is getting a little bit miffed that there's some sort of restriction. But, you know, but overall, if we do something um, with good intentions, then, you know, it may be well received. Now, another one for this one is if we say things today that we're getting off our chest, it could ease some of the volatility that is coming in the coming days with Mercury coming up to... Um, to oh what do you, no he's already squared Pluto hasn't he all right let's just let's just scrub that bit out sorry I thought there was something else happening but there is some potentially volatile conflict happening in the next couple of days and why have I forgotten what that is all right okay I'm not going to go there <laughs> all right but this is also the day at 2 35 p.m where mars moves into taurus all right so right now like okay so maybe this is why i was saying to speak to others as you wish you were spoken to okay we're looking at some sort of ancestry okay so it could be your early childhood experience but mars at 29 degrees of aries is just like let's just say that thing and could be quite brash and aggressive in his communication at this point, um, you know, because Mercury is in Gemini and he uh, has a tendency to put his foot in his mouth a little bit because he's just saying everything that goes on his mind at the time he thinks it. So watch those words. Like I said, especially with the, you know, Venus currently squaring Saturn uh, in the maybe tomorrow or later today, later Sunday, Sun's going to square Saturn. So, you know, we're watching for those harsh, harsh challenges. And Saturn also re represents an elder of some sort. All right. So Mars being the young warrior, Saturn is a bit more of an elder. This is why I felt like there was this family communication feel happening as well. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the end of this being a little bit disjointed. Can't help that, though. All right, so if you are still here, thank you so much. Now, I am getting ready to set up the third block of um, Astro Coaching this year. Sorry, second block, half of the year. So on the 23rd of June, the day after the sun moves into Cancer, the Monday, we will be starting the new block. So keep an eye out. I'll be putting the links in so you can sign up. It's only $120 for 12 weeks, all right? So you get a Monday evening, we get together, and we look at the week's aspects. Why is this good? Because if you've got stuff happening in your life, you can confidently address things with the relevant uh, positive energy, or you can maybe hold off saying stuff and doing things when you know that it's not conducive to the things that you would like to achieve, so, I mean, it's always good to know what's coming up, knowing when to hold your tongue or when to speak honestly. So anyway, and then in as well as the Monday night, you get a Tuesday and a Friday, 9.30 to 10.30, where, you know, if you are present, we do accountability, you know, we can do your chart, have a quick look at what's going on. You know, you, you get me as your personal astrologer as well. So this sounds like you, something that you would like to do. Um, come and reach out to me on any of the socials. Go to bridgetsastrology.com.au. You can email me there if you're in, if you want to inquire. Come over to Lifetime to Level Up on Facebook and um, join the crew. You know that's where I do my lives. I post that from there onto YouTube afterwards. Maybe you'd like to come and get a card reading at some point. I do those often as well. So thank you so much and I appreciate your time and uh, I hope I can serve you the best of my abilities. So 
See ya. <laughs>